So, uh, so uh, before we talked about, uh, I, mean, I talked about, uh, um, I don't know uh, how, how many of you, uh, do you know it? Yes, no? I've, I've heard about it, I've seen people use it, I've never used it myself. <laughs> but you know that it exists. Yes. Aware of the phenomenon. Aware of the phenomenon, and this is this. <laughs> So, first of all, it's quite difficult to Google it because the name is exactly R, like the letter, so if you Google it, it's a bit, uh, it's a bit complex, and that is a bit, um, it uh, condivides this problem with the C language or other things, but maybe C it's a bit more common. Uh, it's um, a statistical software, it's quite, uh, you can see that, say that it's quite old because now it has several years, I think more than 10 years of history. It's, uh, it's, um, it's a statistical software, this means that it's uh, made for, we are not talking about real time, or we are not talking about uh, geoportals and so on, it, it's uh, for analyzing data. Uh, so it's, uh, I don't know how many of you have studied, has knowledge about statistics, uh, some people. In, uh, in Italy we had also a, um, a course in the university about statistics, which is quite uncommon, because, uh, for example, in the British, uh, in the Anglo-Saxon world, often uh, statistics is someone who studied uh, mathematics, economics and some other things and became uh, more expert in statistics but here you are going to find that people graduated uh, at the University of Statistics so, and usually we had, uh, I, I studied statistics a lot of uh, time ago and uh, usually uh, we had big uh, programs uh, like SAS or uh, SPSS which are made to analyze uh, a lot of data in making uh, analyze with uh, linear models, ANOVA, I don't know if you are talking about strange, a a ANOVA means analysis of variants and, some, and a bit more complex things. Um, S is, uh, was born more or less like a clone of the S plus program on a, which was made in the Bell Labs and then uh, First of all, it became a bit different, and then it's uh, uh, now the more important thing is uh, like uh, uh, that's thing uh, that still has plus, but R is we are talking about big thing. Uh, as uh, R is a new project, it's open source, and it's used uh, a lot because uh, most of the not most, I, I mean. But really a lot of uh, uh, statistical uh, development now. I mean, uh, the, the uh, universities use mostly R. So the most, uh, most <coughs> main part of new statistical techniques are available, first of all, in R. And so uh, you uh, find the R project, that's uh, the foundation. You find the, uh, the comprehensive R archive network, which is uh, crpn.rproject.org, you find the, um, a huge quantity of packages because R is a statistical software which is, uh, uh, it has uh, the main core, uh, which is basically a programming language and a system, and it has a lot of Packages. The some packages are uh, distributed with the software, uh, some others are official, and then you find this is the full uh, list of packages. So they are a lot. I mean, you find from uh, uh, HTM5 uh, web software interface to a uh, um, you find uh, packages to analyze uh, FM, uh, uh, functional magnetic resonances. You know the fancy stuff that you see when you, the brains of people scan with that. So medical imaging, you find uh, a, a lot of things for ecology, uh, for uh, economics, econometric. There's uh, uh, a lot of stuff for uh, al uh, different algorithms, generic cross algorithms. 
visualization of missing layer, uh, variable Markman chain models, so, and uh, a lot of things about uh, most of the things that you can do analyzing data. So quite specific uh, uh, things for analysis of, uh, I don't know, uh, for example, um, market uh, and uh, shares uh, or uh, a lot of genomic data. Uh, so. You uh, can see this also in uh, there are in the uh, um, list of the packages there are sections. These are all, all sections, different uh, groups of packages for different. So you, you find uh, empirical finance, <coughs> genetics, empirometrics, uh, differential equations, uh, but also uh, optimization, pharmacokinetics. I don't know if you know what is pharmacokinetics. Uh, pharmacokinetics means that uh, the kinetics, the movement and the diffusion of the um, um, uh, active principles is that molecules that cure, you have uh, a pill. Within it, a part of it is uh, some uh, chemical complex that influxes on your, in your body, and uh, so it fluxes on the uh, illness. And these uh, are spread in the, in, uh, in the body with uh, depends from a lot of, a lot of physical and uh, chemical uh, issues and this is pharmacokinetics and you have a lot of... Uh, yeah. and of course you have... Uh, uh, I mean, yeah, but who cares because you have special uh, of course the, uh, um, here is analysis of special data this means that you have a lot of things um, you have a mailing list about geo, uh, geo data center uh, and you have uh, a lot of, of uh, um, R is connected by uh, with a lot of software. So you, of course, you have interfaces for uh, um, databases, a lot of different other programs. And here you have uh, a sp uh, special package, uh, special package, uh, map tools. Uh, uh, you, you can create. You have uh, different uh, various tools. Uh, for making sophisticated analysis on special objects, you have uh, so uh, of course uh, um, you have uh, the possibility of both using uh, something like PostGIS to have uh, a, I will see it's in it before special queries. So give me all the points within a short, uh, five kilometers distance from uh, and so on. Create an uh, a, the, the in, uh, uh, a frame within the object, so uh, these, these, two, these things can be done both using PostGIS as uh, uh, several different uh, interconnection mechanisms, uh, so you have uh, also the possibilities to connect with QGIS uh, or something like this. And you can create maps. Uh, uh, Take into account that we are not really talking about interactive maps. I mean, interactive here means that I want to develop. Uh, I'm a statistician. I am some someone who has to read to understand how the data works, uh, and have to create a model and then create a map. The map here is, uh, uh, is needed for two different reasons. The first one is to help me to understand uh, the data and help me to model it. I want to create, a, a, I don't know, a, a logistic model of the data and I want to understand if the spatial disposition can help me to forecast the outcome of something. And here, I, maybe I plot the map to understand if uh, I, I need to spend my time on it or maybe not. So this is the first helping in uh, uh, analyzing the data and reading the data. And then you have to show the results of your models of the, of the, I mean, you have the data and then you extract the same information. And then you have to craft a, a map to show or uh, to convey all the information that you analyzed and that uh, so to make the data talk. And this means that you want to create a map and you have to craft it. Uh, quite often you uh, fine. Uh, you don't know if you. I don't know if you remember. Uh, more or less, it was about one year ago. There was the 
the beautiful uh, uh, map of the uh, connection between uh, Facebook users. It was a dark blue uh, world with all the linkage uh, yeah. between all the users of Facebook. Yeah. In fact, uh, that was an adopt map. I mean, uh, the, the person that made it had to convey this information, which is what it was. Uh, the idea is quite uh, simple because you have link between uh, different people, but the uh, fact was that they, they, he had to craft the, um, the out of the, I mean, the transparency of the, of the connection, and he had to uh, cho choose a, a, a right uh, a mathematical curve to show the connections. They weren't straight lines, because uh, that would have made the phenomenon a bit less legible. So it has, it had to craft a bit uh, the, the, the map to convey in the best possible way. The, of course, the best possible way depends if you want to I mean, show off or to want to explain it. And if I'm not wrong, uh, that made, map was made with that. That image was made with that. Uh, the graphical possibilities are quite. I, I mean, I will not bore you about uh, uh, all the statistical uh, possibilities. There, there are a lot, and uh, that's an art journal, that's a foundation. That this is uh, a graph gallery about uh, some kind of possibility. So you have, of course, quite uh, complex uh, statistical representations. Uh, well, here we have different kind of statistical uh, uh, of graphics. Uh, uh, Data which are connected. I am just uh, looked at it uh, during uh, the previous talks, so I won't explain you what they show. But um, there are, of course, correlate maps. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, these are and uh, uh, other kinds of maps. For example, uh, by the way, if you uh, here, I see that they are talking about the New York Times flash based uh, editorial and. Uh, uh, quite often they talk about it because the, the New York Times people are quite uh, strong in uh, uh, infographics uh, and they quite often use R for sketching their modules and then they adapt them uh, for um, showing in an uh, interactive way. Uh, here is another um, example of uh, uh, showing your information which uh, can be a bit more interesting for you. So this is the Sandy Hurricane in uh, States, so it showed, and uh, it shows both the. Here you see the connection because you have the points of the hurricane, and then uh, the, the red uh, uh, spot uh, area is the forecasted uh, path. I think. It was the forecasted path in, uh, that, uh, at that moment, I, if I'm not wrong, or something like it. So, of course, uh, uh, Maybe I'm wrong. I will have to double check. I surely saw something like it. If you want to show, for example, the uh, something like leap, so the, the, the possible forecasted uh, part of the of the hurricane, or something like it, of course you have quite uh, complex mathematical models up there behind. And uh, this is a tool that is strong in uh, mixing, in making the mathematical models, and uh, also showing it. And there are other, there are also strange things. So you can find channel. Of, uh, this is uh, uh, pretty, uh, that is uh, quite an old uh, statistical uh, thing. They sh correlate. Uh, uh, different variables with different uh, parts of the things and they show information. It never worked really, I think. Uh, you can have uh, 3D graphs and so on. You, uh, there are a lot of... Uh, uh, this is, uh, these are the members and supporters of the foundation, so you can find, uh, for example, big uh, uh, pharmaceutical companies. You can find uh, banks uh, and so on and a lot of... So the, the R phenomenon is quite big. You have uh, a bioconductor is uh, an ad hoc uh, add-on add which is composed of several packages, uh, which is quite strong on uh, um, a lot of uh, statistical uh, genetic issues. 
there are our user groups. Uh, there are. I wanted to show one thing, and uh, uh, these uh, other things uh, uh, only always on uh, send. And of course, uh, they, uh, the face of uh, R. Uh, I show you what it looks like. This is not really the last version, but the foremost. So you have to write your code. Uh, this is up. But uh, now you have always uh, we are um, you having more and more different, uh, let's say, GUIs. So for example, this is one of them. You have the console. You have uh, the, your data viewer. You have, can have quite a lot of different uh, data objects with different formats uh, and you have the of course the L and uh, there are a lot of uh, um, different packages that allow to um, also import uh, data from, uh, from for example this is a ship file imported and uh, it's not really bad, but of course you can make also some or this is a problem map. You can uh, import, uh, make. Uh, this was an experiment. Uh, I don't know if you. I mean, the, the background of course is uh, OpenStreetMap. I, I was experimenting with it. I took the the, the, the points are um, <coughs> different uh, Roman structures. So you find the amphitheater, the circus, and you have the maps. Uh, they are not quite evident. So on the I was just trying to understand how it worked. Uh, you, you have the uh, possibility of, of course, making a graph with latitude and longitude. You can uh, put them on uh, the ground. Of course, you have a open street map, and you have uh, the possibility of use uh, Google Maps and so on. And uh, you can also apply uh, the, the the different thing about uh, what uh, you are custom making is that. Uh, it was quite easy to add a mathematical model that was estimating the density. I don't know if you can see. Yeah. Uh, the density of the different classes of the points. So the, uh, the, the idea is not uh, I want to give right now the, this map to the user, but I want to analyze. So I, the, the, the easiest thing is not to maybe you know, change the color of the you can do it, but it's quite easy to reach the mathematical model. Of course, you can also use it to have something like both uh, different. Uh, I, I was trying to with the restaurants in Stockholm, and the points are restaurant colored by the type of cuisine. Or uh, if we want to go back in Rome, uh, we we can. These are all experiments. Uh, different restaurants with, uh, here you can find that uh, and this was relatively easy and of course you have uh, in these interfaces you have also possibilities like this uh, so I think that I this internet right now This, this is one of the editors, um, this is uh, the user, uh, there is also another one which is our studio. Uh, and you find uh, here, for example, you have, uh, I have um, this uh, object is uh, uh, one of the different packages uh, that uh, deal with special data uh, allows to import uh, a, an object. Uh, so this is uh, clearly OpenStreetMap da data, which is quite, uh, and there are uh, different packages can also uh, define different data structures. So this data structure has, uh, just a moment, uh, You 
see that the, 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 the first component is uh, notes. Sorry, you don't see it anymore. Uh, the, This, uh, this uh, object has uh, uh, quite uh, more than uh, 100,000 nodes. Then you have ways, and then you have relations, and of course, uh, each of, uh, for each one of them, you have uh, some details. Uh, because you can see, for example, the first part you know, of the nodes, you have all the attributes, and you can see the, the version, the timestamp, the user, the latitude, longitude. So on, also, yes. of course, which is, this is quite a rough uh, way of analyzing it. Uh, just uh, it's, uh, uh, if I'm not uh, the um, the object is about uh, Italy. It's I think all, all Italy. Uh, I don't remember if I, I took the um, the data from um, Geofabric and I processed it. it through osmosis, so it's not uh, that's not everything, but you have uh, some details of the keys of the nodes. So you see that there are a lot of house numbers because I have written that that was uh, I was interested in and, uh, and and so on. And you can see also the some. But you have also uh, the possibility of uh, build uh, sorry, uh, quite here it is. This is uh, one um, addition of the gap uh, of the and here you have uh, you can define the Which uh, spatial uh, data, uh, data frame you are using? So I'm choosing Pro, which okay. And uh, and here you see that the of course you can uh, choose to have something more complex. So uh, I want uh, the points called by example the user this is a bit uh, of course they uh, these are the here it is sorry for spoiling the yeah. presentation uh, do you mind fixing the attribution text no? on street oh, right. yeah. on license yes um, it's uh, the old one I mean, I, I, I would not mind. I would be glad, quite glad, but I'm not the developer of this. I mean, I'm just a user. Uh, oh, so okay, okay, sorry. <laughs> I told you where I involved. Uh... No, this is uh, no, not at all. I'm just a user. Um, this is one of the different GUIs uh, of this project, of this program. There are others which are developed by different developer and. Uh, yeah, we can mail uh, to them to change. I don't remember the. Uh, I'll have to go through it. And now, uh, right, this is not working. In, uh, and the, the point was that you have uh, also now, which is changing in the last period. And of course, if you say run, you see the. The actual picture and the, the more important thing is you see the code and you can click it. So the, the purpose of this tool is not to have, uh, I mean, you can use also to have a uh, read uh, a quick uh, uh, map, but maybe you will find uh, much more quick to use uh, something like CAPTB. But uh, here you can really tweak the map. I mean, uh, the, the customization possibilities are almost endless. There is the possibility to use R within PostgreSQL. The PLR is called procedural language R. So you can write R function within PostgreSQL. And that's I should be already supported by CAPTB, by the way. I'm no. not sure, but I think you can just already do it. Uh, I think that there are 
both possibility to use R uh, with an uh, uh, um, okay. processor grad and to use a processor grad uh, from R. So, yes. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm just studying it, so uh, that's, that's true. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, I was reading uh, one, uh, there are now a lot of, now, in the last years, so it's not so new, a lot of different uh, big uh, statistical software uh, uh, developed the, the possibility of use R code or R packages. So, uh, for example, I say yes, uh, I think it's, uh, it's uh, historical biggest uh, statistical software, which is uh, uh, from a certain, in a certain, during a certain period it was the 10th uh, biggest software compression in the world. And uh, they allow to use uh, our packages for our code. Look, at the same, uh, SPSS was uh, the second uh, biggest and now it, it was acquired uh, some years ago by IBM. And uh, it can, I think that now also this, packet, uh, this program can use uh, our code. So R is I don't know if I managed to give you enough information or if you have any kind of curiosity. <laughs> can you other curiosity? Can you can you edit plot the gallery of tunnels in Rome? Sorry? <laughs> <laughs> can we OSM that you are you were plotting open street map data, right? Yeah. Because if you can plot all the galleries, uh, tunnels, tunnel. tunnels, 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 and uh, house number. I was uh, now uh, the, the one that I have been, so I, I doubt uh, strongly there are some tunnels. Oh, yeah, uh, but it's uh, so basically you, you can do it here. Yeah, the, the, there are several different ways of uh, asking. For, I mean, you can use uh, OpenStreetMap or other function like a, a background image, or you can ask a query and use the data. So you have. Uh, Examples also of uh, uh, use the data of OpenStreetMap for uh, uh, making, uh, calculating the uh, routing, best routing. Uh, it's clear that it's um, you uh, uh, the a final user won't use uh, a statistical uh, tool to uh, calculating the, the best route, but it's uh, I mean you are developing the, the mathematical methods and then you maybe write uh, a smart. Uh, Weak uh, C++ algorithm or something like it, or like, no, other things, and you have also a way of uh, including uh, uh, if, uh, that's a bridge between uh, R and C++, for example. So you, in, once you have uh, developed your mathematical model, you have, can have uh, a part of it uh, if you want to then analyze the results in a, in a statistical program. Otherwise, you would make some other things. You have uh, the possibility. In different ways to embed it. In, uh, uh, that's uh, a possibility to have a, a, a server side app, so you can use the, uh, something like a web portal. That's the. Uh, now, another editor, which is our studio, gives the possibility of uh, making reports uh, with uh, how this Nick and uh, Mac and Markdown, and so you can quickly publish also. Uh, Records, uh, HTML records, uh, uh, HTML presentations, and uh, HTML pages which embed some uh, kind of interaction made uh, uh, directly from a uh, web all the code that processes the data and makes the final result. So it's, uh, this is useful both uh, from uh, uh, if you're talking about reproducible research. I don't know if. Reproducible research is the one of the things which is uh, becoming quite strong in the last years. It, the, the idea is that you have uh, 
In, in research, we have the peer reviewed journal, so you have to, the, the, the articles have to be subjected to scrutiny of the peers. So and, uh, and this is the basis of the academic publishing. Uh, the, the scientific journal uh, receives an article, give it to uh, some other anonymous experts, and uh, they say it's good, it's not good, it's uh, good, but this is the academic press. And, but uh, what, um, this means that the, what you made uh, has to be understood, it's clearly explained, and uh, uh, explain, uh, evaluable. So you have, uh, if you, uh, the idea was back from uh, Galileo, if you say that uh, if you drop a ball, it happens this, uh, everyone can verify it. Now the fact is that more and more the, uh, the, reproduce, uh, the reproduction of the analysis and the conclusion be, uh, depends from the availability of data and code. Having uh, uh, a phone to, uh, let's say, push a button, I mean, having the code that generates the articles and both the data and the code used to analyze the data allows to make this uh, pro procedure or reviewing what the search did much more strong. So part of the research, research is having the possibility of making this kind of the, the analysis again. And of course, if you have a program that can uh, take the data, the code, and uh, uh, output the article, basically, if you want, you can uh, remake the article. That's an advantage for the person. Because if you have new data, you can make again the, the analysis. So your product is not just the result, but also includes the code that produces the result? Yes. The final product of your research. The code and sometimes also the data. So data? Yes, which is quite, I mean, it's, if you, I don't know if you have frequented some academics, uh, sharing the data is something like, which is quite strong uh, for, for, for a model because the data is what gives you the possibility of making other articles also. Uh, but uh, especially in the medical field, uh, the more and more, the, I mean, yeah, I want to verify your article. So I've read what you've done, but make me, let me check it. And uh, having this, uh, this is also part of it, because it is good, it's clear that having a free software, I mean, free in all senses, um, so it's, uh, it doesn't cost and it's uh, open source and you can verify it. You can verify the algorithms. Because they, you can uh, uh, distribute the code, so a lot of packets, most, I think, all of them, I don't, I don't maybe there are quite uh, really a small layer of uh, peculiar interfaces to a lot that are commercial, but I all the basically you can uh, make everything almost without uh, without using uh, commercial software. You don't, so you can uh, and if you have the data and the code for generating the article, that's the maximum of transparency. So uh, this was uh, and uh, the uh, if I'm still on. Uh, let's see. This is another, let's call it the GUI, and uh, uh, yeah, here it is in China. Here you can uh, um, create also something like uh, something like this. I don't, I, I am doing. So you, you show the, the density, the boundaries, the change the, the parameters of the statistical models and so on. And this is made, uh, it's, they offer also the, I think they offer the possibility of you install the code on your, your computer or they have the server. And I think it's, uh, yeah, I'm not wrong, it's free. I've never used it. And so the, it's clear that this kind of uh, 
Genetic can be used also to help uh, a, an online interactive map. Uh, I think so, yeah. It's, it's clear that if you want to use something like this, it means that you have to have some kind of mathematical modeling. I mean, or, or whether the possibilities are that you want to really tweak the graphical aspects, you can really, really, really tweak. I mean, uh, that, uh, there are endless possibilities, uh, or almost endless possibilities. Uh, and uh, let me see if I can. This is one. Um, no, I was looking for the slides. It's just one of the. No, it's too complicated. Um, you, you can, for example, now you can have uh, on the map different uh, one of. One way there are a lot of different studies to show a lot of information on the map, on the map, because basically the um, up to now we don't have really good ways. So make it, uh, uh, one uh, one way is to divide the map in different, let's say, tiles, and each and every tile you have uh, a, a statistical graph, an histogram. Uh, a, Line, a trend, and so on, so you can show you have uh, both the spatial uh, disposition of the phenomenon. You mix the spatial disposition of the phenomenon, for example, with the temporal or some other things like it. And of course, this is not made for a driving. You have to run the, walk a bit with the data and then you have this kind of 